Hello everyone, welcome to my NASDAQ YouTube channel. This is Johnny. Today I'm gonna continue my psychotic secret server lab. I'm gonna work on onboarding Cisco switch credentials into psychotic secret server. As you can see from lab, I have psychotic secret server 10.9 version installed on 192.168.2.243 I have Cisco switch 192.168.2.2 what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add the account in Cisco switch and enable password into Psychotic Secret Server let's start it here is my Psychotic Server 192.168.2.243 I have Putty copied on the desktop. I'm gonna do a quick network connectivity test to our switch. Uh, this is a warning message from the Dave Hellman Group 1 Shell 1 the old protocol. Uh, There's a warning message for that. We can say yes, that's not a big deal for our testing. As you can see, I can log in without any problem. Um, we have three users myself, admin, user 1 let's um, change the user 1 password So what we're gonna do is we're gonna onboard in this user one use account and we're also gonna onboard in this enable account. So Cisco device has two accounts. To get the privilege access, you need to enable password to log in to do whatever you made need to make a configuration changes, save the configuration, that will be uh, enable password. For normal user, user one uh, they only can log into the non-privileged mode so we need to onboard in both so let's uh, go back to our psychotic secret server so there's three uh, three steps usually what I do is uh, secret template you need to have template for that um, in our case, we need two template. We need a Cisco account, SSH, that's your low, low, uh, normal account. And we also need a secret SSH account, enable secret SSH account. So we're gonna create our own template, edit. Copy secret template. We gave it the name 51sec Cisco account also put SSH okay we don't have to change our template it's um, it's it's already been configured very well it's a standard template so we just change the name and um, we're gonna use it in case later on you want to make some small changes Cisco enable secret we're gonna make a copy Fifty one sec, Cisco enable secret SSH. Continue. 
secret template we created. Now you may want to do a policy. Admin secret policy. You're gonna apply that policy. For example, you want to rotate it, you want to check habit, you want to check in, check out those settings. Then you need a secret policy to work on it. Um let's create a new one. Let's call it 51 sec. Cisco rotating. This is Cisco device policy. You may, if you want, you can create two policies as well, depending on your your requirement. Um, you may want to enforce auto change. You also may want to enforce a habit. Okay, save it. So you can configure more, but uh, for demonstration in this lab, I just enable those two. So we created the template. We also created the policy. Then you need a proper folder. Um, you may want to have two folders. The reason why is you may want one folder to have all those non-privileged account. Let's call it Cisco users. And you may want another one called Cisco enabled. Then we starting to assign policy and template. So right now we are inheriting permission there. You don't want that. The user groups, we don't want to change it. We just want to change the policy. We want to assign the policy, Cisco device policy to make sure they have rotating the password policy, heartbeat policy. And also you don't want any other template will be here. So you want to assign just one policy for Cisco users. Whenever you're creating a user secret, and then you only can choose a Cisco account as a such policy here, template here. Um, that's it. And do the same thing on a Cisco enable folder. We gonna use same policy. We don't. We don't need a, another policy for here. Uh, you don't want to inherit the permission. And you want to assign only one template. After that, you may want to check the remote password settings. You may want to enable habit. I will do that. Um, sometimes you need to check in, then you need to enable this policy as well. Password changes each time when uh, check in, depending on your policy as well. You want to check in, check out your secret before they can use it. Okay, um, after that, Now you can onboard in your users. New secret. So there's only one template available for you. So it won't make any mistake is putting another um, account, different type of account in here. So secret name, let's say Cisco switch 192.168.2.2. Then user one. 192.168.2.2 Username will be user1 Password, I changed it so I know what the password it is It's psychotic1, that's the password 
perfect for now testing purpose and here is settings auto change enabled yeah we can leave it there we don't have to specifically set this up create secret so the habit is pending Let's look at the security policy here. And then we can check remote password changing. So auto change enabled because of our, our security policy. Okay, heartbeat has completed for Cisco switch. So they verified the password, username password on a Cisco device. So heartbeat they were able to successfully verify that. Um, now we can do party. You shouldn't need to enter anything, then we should be able to log in. Uh, of course, there's a warning message for that Daffy Hellman Group 1 SHA-1 warning. That's okay. Click yes. We logged in. We don't want to enable password. You have to manually type in to see. So that's a command that you can use. But other than that, you have to use the enable password. So it works well. Um, we can do change the password now. The password is psychotic one. So if we do change the password now, in a couple of seconds, the password will be changed to randomly. Uh, we don't want to wait that, and uh, we're gonna onboard in our Cisco enable password. Click plus sign to add a new secret. There's one template available, so you just choose that one. Cisco switch. The password change was failed. The reason why is because there's no privileged account assigned to it. It cannot change the password by itself. So if you want that feature, you need to assign the privileged account. So which we are creating. Cisco switch, enable. 192 let's do this 192.168.2.2 enable machine name 192.168.2.2 password the create secret You are able to change the password now. You can change that. Then then it generated. Um it will be failed. They don't have account to log in. Also the enable password change also gonna be failed because we need to associate account with that to allow it to log in. So, so that's what we gonna do. Um, we need to have associated secrets here. So, once we have associated secrets, so they will use this associated secret to log in first, and then using the label password log in again to make the changes. So here is the settings. Let's let's add a secret here, since we already have one user one save now we can try to see habit again as you remembered before it was failed here so now we can see the habit status now we also have stop password changes option here 
Let's see, change password. Password change is already in progress. So we can leave it. We can like do the password change. Uh, you want to see the logs, go back to admin, remote password changing, and you can see here. That was failed before because of the authenticate information expected and associated secret. We don't have that, so that was failed. Habit was wrong, but there are no secret to Habit. Starting the most secret Habit. Okay, let's go back to the secret. It's taking much longer than what I thought. Gonna go back Cisco users. Trying to log in again. Not sure if password has been changed or not. No, it hasn't been changed. Still the old password. Now we can see one thing. The last habit status was success. Finally, after a couple of minutes waiting, it was success. And we want to change the enable password. Let's see how it goes. So the password will be randomly generated and um, it will be changed. We're going to do the same thing, we're going to do Cisco users. Psychotic one, we're going to do change password now. It will be randomly changed. Enable password has been changed. Go back here. show password that's all I want to show you today how to onboard in Cisco switch username and enable credential thank you for watching